Hello, we're going to make a video and this video will demonstrate installing Nova VNA Saver software on the Linux platform. The software, which is a Python package, will be installed in, conjun in conjunction with the Anaconda 3 Python distribution package. A previous video exists that demonstrates how to install Anaconda 3. Okay, so we'll uh, <clears throat> start here. First thing we need to do is uh, get a terminal. And uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. So I'll hold down Control Shift and hit the plus key once or twice. Now, to get the package that we want to install, uh, what we'll do is we will click on the web browser and the package is held at or the package is located uh, at the site um, https colon slash slash github.com slash m as in Mike, I as in India, H as in hotel, T as in tango, J as in Juliet, E as in echo, L as in Lima slash nano vna dash saver you go to that uh, link and then come on down a little bit oh we'll, we'll stop here real quick uh, this is a multi-platform to save touchstone files from the nano vna sweep frequency spans in segments uh, to gain more than 101 data points and generally display and analyze the resulting data. This software connects to a nano VNA and extracts the data for display on a computer uh, and for saving to touchstone files. So you can see uh, some of the current features here listed. Okay, and we'll go on down and uh, here's a picture of what it looks like uh, installed and in use. We're just installing today. Down here they have instructions for installing on a, uh, Linux Ubuntu 18.04 and that's what we're running 18.04. <coughs> now we've in, uh, it says install Python 3.7 and pip. Um, I actually tried to install this uh, using the app get uh, to go out and get the Python and uh, it failed miserably uh, so I'm doing a demonstration here on using Anaconda 3 uh, Python distribution package and using the Python that comes with that. Okay, so that's uh, we're, uh, we'll take a look at uh, the uh, Python 3.7 and the and the and the pip in a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is we've got this uh, uh, line here that uh, where we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this and we're going to then paste this into the terminal session and this will go get the uh, actual nano saver code oh, we have to first install get that's right sudo apt install get installing the get package. This is the package that will actually go out and get the uh, code once it's installed. And we're almost done. Now we're done. So now I'm going to hit my up arrow key and go to that uh, original command I had where it's going to uh, get and clone the, uh, the package. Okay, now if I do an ls, I should see a directory in there called nano-saver, and I do see that. Let me open up the web browser again here just to uh, make sure I have the right uh, instructions. 
I'm going to do a change directory um, and, uh, and then I'm going to install the um, code so let me do the change directory first okay now I'm, I've done a change directory and I'm in that in that directory when I do the install I'm going to install the stuff that's in the directory and uh, so um, here it uh, is telling me I should run this uh, one slight issue uh, before I run that uh, at when I did the anaconda install the base environment setup script is under slash opt anaconda I think no scripts okay so I want to source slash opt slash scripts uh, and this will this uh, will set up the environment uh, that we need in order to use the Python so I'm going to source that anaconda script and you can see over on the left hand side it set me up in the base environment that's going to be fine for what we want to do here and uh, now if you remember from that web page I copied some stuff and uh, so let me uh, just go ahead and put that in there uh, before I actually do that I'm going to put a little pound sign in Oops. I'm going to put a little pound sign at the front of this to make that a comment <coughs> um, so if I with the Anaconda 3 whoop, slash OPT slash Anaconda um, I'm running version 2012.02 um, if I type um, Python dash capital V that should give me the Python version and uh, uh, if I run pip dash V that gives me the pip version I'm running and I'm running pip 3.7 so um, if you remember I made this a comment and I said uh, Python uh, 3.7 we're running Python 3.7.6 so I don't need to put that 3.7 at the end um, and then uh, the rest of that command will follow so I'll type Python and notice I'm in the nano dash saver uh, directory. So we have Python dash m pip install. And then the dot, that dot means right here. Um, so it's going to look in this directory for the uh, uh, information to install. So you can see it's uh, processing nano saver, the nano saver Python. Uh, it's found a couple of things that it wants to download, or at least one thing here. So it wants to download uh, the Python uh, Qt environment <coughs> for displaying, I think. And this will take a minute or two to download. And what I'm going to do is, this will take a minute or two for everything to download. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause the video and then I'll come back and we can take a look at uh, uh, what was downloaded. Okay, so we're back. Um, and uh, it, so what we did was we downloaded a few packages, uh, you know, PyQt, PySerial, um, Numpy was already there, Skypey was already there, or SciPy was already there, um, and so we did get some uh, errors. It's saying Spider 4.1 requires uh, Python Qt Web Engine less than f uh, 5.13, and the PyQt is 514. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. It's just a little bit higher. Um, so
So it was just checking, I think, for 513. Um, and down here, it's saying that uh, the uh, we have some scripts that are installed, and these scripts were installed in dot local slash bin. Dot local slash bin is kind of a magical directory on Ubuntu. Uh, it's automatically uh, a place that uh, uh, your ID will look if you're running in your ID it will look in that directory for executables um, so it's saying here that uh, we might want to put that into the path and I think that's already in the path let me see here um, so RCC5. Okay, so Pi RCC5 is already in the uh, Anaconda binary path. Um, and that path is already here from the uh, from the source um, when we source the base environment. So that guy's already there. Um, uh, PYUIC5. PYUIC5 is already in the, uh, that same path. Five. So it should find all those if it runs. So that's good. Okay. So now let's go take a look at. Uh, those, those errors I think are not significant and in order to run it we'll, write, we'll type python nano-saver.py and let's see if it starts up python nano-saver.py oh, I typed something wrong uh, nano saver VNA so I hit my upper arrow key I come here and I correct my mistake see if that works and there we go nano uh, and uh, yeah we can say check for updates automatically that's your choice um, seems to be running you could click now and uh, so this will this will go ahead and run. Uh, probably be nice if I had a little bit larger display um, in order to um, allow for um, the whole screen to uh, work. Oh, it didn't like that when I minimized it. That's interesting. And we'll click no here. Okay, so we can uh, we can use the about window uh, to go ahead and get uh, we can use the about window to go ahead and get updates, and you can see here because the display isn't large enough, uh, you know I kind of have to move around. But if you had a larger display, that would work fine. I'm I'm just running on a uh, kind of a wimpy. Uh, uh, KBM. So, okay, that's all there is to installing the Nano Nano Saver, Nano VNA Saver software, and uh, get it up and running on uh, Ubuntu 18.04. Thanks for listening, and uh, I hope this was helpful.